Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little gem that I happened to find on my hard drive from about two years ago. And I was about six months pregnant at the time. But this definitely is a great little beginner tutorial and it's just in time for Christmas. I just happened to finish this video up and I just didn't have a chance to post it at the time. So I figure what better time than the present. But I think it'll be fun to go through this little blast from the past. You're just gonna need a couple of things, including some fabric, elastic, and of course the quick sew pattern 3746. So definitely a great time to grab some of those really cute Christmas fabrics from Joann's because this pattern does use a lightweight woven cotton fabric. I'm going to be doing view B for the shorts. And I'm going to do mine in a size large. So starting with my fabric folded in half, I'm going to line up my grain line on the pattern with the selvage edge of my fabric. And I'm going to line those up so they're parallel to each other. And then I can pin this piece down. And I will cut this out. I will do the same thing to my second pattern piece for the front of my shorts pattern. And go ahead and snip in or mark your notches. Taking my back short pieces, I'm going to lay them right sides together. Lining up the inner edge of the shorts and I'm gonna pin this side together. And then same thing with the back short pieces, I'm going to lay these right sides together, pinning up the inner side as well. I'm going to sew these edges at a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Open up both your front and back pieces and we're going to lay these right sides together matching the outer edges and pinning these together. And then going to the bottom of your shorts, you're gonna line up the short crotch edges and pin these together as well. Sew these edges at a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Going to the waist of my shorts, I'm going to fold it over wrong sides together to create my elastic casing and the pattern did call for a one inch fold over but I found that it wasn't enough fabric to make the seam and fit the elastic so I would recommend adding an extra quarter inch seam allowance if you want to fold and tuck in the raw edge underneath as well just to hide those raw edges. So I'm going to measure it and then I will iron it down all the way around. Following the pattern, I needed two 16 and a half pieces of elastic for size large, but I ended up roughly cutting one 32 and a half inch piece minusing the seam allowance for the waistband. I then cut two 25 inch pieces for the leg elastics. For all my elastic pieces, I'm gonna overlap them about 3 8 inches and I will sew down the middle. 
and when I sew these together, I'm going to go over them back and forth a few times just to make sure they're extra secure. Starting with my waistband elastic, I'm going to tuck it into the folded over edge that we created and then I will pin down the open edge encasing the elastic all the way around. To make this easier, I would normally just sew the casing all the way around first, leaving a little gap to thread my elastic through with the safety pin and then sewing the ends of the elastic together, tucking it in and closing the hole. But here I followed the directions from the pattern, so it's up to you what you feel more comfortable with doing. But as a beginner, I would definitely make the casing first. And you're also going to do the same thing to the leg bands. I'm going to sew the casing closed at a fourth of an inch away from the raw edge all the way around on the waistband and the leg bands. I'm going to pull on the waist and leg bands to make sure that the elastic is evenly spread out in each of its casings. And your shorts are complete. Super easy, super quick. This would be great if you want some cute PJs or maybe you want to make these for a matching fabric Christmas PJ set. This would be a really quick piece to whip up just in time for Christmas. Even though I was pregnant, these were very comfortable to wear and they did have a pretty great fit. I would definitely love to make a few more pairs of these myself once I get the chance. But I hope you like this little reminiscent moment of a pregnant me. And this really makes me miss my gray hair a lot. I will have more videos coming soon in the future, so make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified when those go live. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.